good morning. Please be seated. In the bulletin for today, you have the paper on the lighting of the third candle. And so I ask that you share with me as we read on this third Sunday of Advent. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the third Sunday of Advent and we will light the candle of joy. Last Sunday we lit the candle of peace. We light it in the candle of hope again as we remember Jesus, born in Bethlehem, our hope in our peace. If you like the first two and the third one will be the two candles. Oh, she looks so beautiful today. I'll wait until you see. I mean, if I had the opportunity, I, I'd wear something like that. Yeah, you'll see later. <coughs> Today we light the third candle of Advent, the candle of joy. In their old age, God gave to Zechariah and Elizabeth a son called John. John spoke to the people bravely in the desert, denying his own comforts and prepared to die for what he believed. John taught that we should share what we have with others, treat each other kindly, and show God's love. He did this because he cared for people and wanted them to repent and find God's forgiveness. Joy is like a candle shining in a dark place. As we look at the light of this candle, we celebrate the joy that God answered the prayers we have in Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, you witnessed John the Baptist grow up strong in spirit and prepared people for the coming of the Lord. He loved your people and baptized them in the river Jordan to wash away their sins. Help us to have the same love that we would be witnesses to him and spread the good news of your love. As Christmas draws closer day by day, help us to be ready to welcome him. Amen. To thee we come, O Lord, our God, before thy altar our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we 
may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now, please make an examination of your conscience. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with the power given unto me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust, for your dew is a dew of light in the land of shades gives birth. The Lord will let the Lord and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world now, and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we joyfully approach the celebration of your Son's birth. May he bring us pardon and freedom from the burden of our sins. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. John, would you proclaim the word today? Please be seated. Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness, Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual. Happy are those whose help is Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord their God, the maker of heaven and earth, the seas and all that is in them. 
who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets prisoners free. A reading from the letter of St. James the Apostle. Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm, because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Lo, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse in my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with this question, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out? To see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you. Among those born of women, there has none greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by now, now and forever. Amen. Nic venture Paphilonius Christus. Then why did you go out to see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Words taken from today's Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of, my, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we light the third candle of Advent. This candle represents joy. It is rose in color, and it is lit to remind all Christians of the joy in the coming of the Lord. We read that joy is truly at the heart of the season of Advent, as is hope and peace. Now we find that joy is defined as a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. In the first reading for today, the words of the prophet Isaiah describes the immense joy in experience deep within himself as he received the revelation of God concerning the coming of the Messiah. He writes, Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. Brothers and sisters, such was the joy that Isaiah as well as the other prophets felt as they received this revelation. God had broken through the darkness of uncertainty to announce through them and to the people they would address that God was to fulfill his promise of mercy and salvation through the coming of a Redeemer. You know, as we all approach Christmas, there is something in the air that causes many people to be more joyous. There are countless instances of people sharing their joy with others. It is at this time that humanity glows a little bit brighter. It is at this time that many Christians around the world experience a profound joy within themselves as they help others. The culmination of this Sunday is found in today's Gospel. John, as we read, was imprisoned and he sent disciples to ask Jesus the end, endless question, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? And what does Jesus say? He says, go and tell John what you have seen and heard. Not what somebody has told you about, but rather what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news or the gospel proclaimed to them. This powerful decla declaration is in tune to Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19, when Jesus stood up 
at the local synagogue was handed a scroll and he turned in the scroll to the prophet Isaiah and he declared the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the good news to the poor he has sent me to proclaim the release of captives and recovery of the sight of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord we further read that he closed the book he gave it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Such was and is the joy that God fulfilled his promise to deliver his chosen by sending forth his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ as it is proclaimed in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 the people walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned my dear brothers and sisters, on this third Sunday of Advent, we again hear of the person, John the Baptist. We read in Holy Scripture that John had a mission from God to announce the coming of God's Anointed One. Jesus refers to John as the prophet Isaiah in Matthew, I'm sorry, Elijah, as in Matthew chapter 17, verse 13. John was a great teacher. It is believed that some of the apostles of Jesus followed John in the beginning. But it is John who declares in the Gospel of John, he, Jesus, he states, must increase, but I must decrease. And John points out of the distinction between the two ministries, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 11, where John says, I am baptizing you with water for repentance but the one who is coming after me is mightier than I I am not worthy to carry his sandals he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire and so what does Jesus have to say in testimony about John we read in Luke, when the messengers of John had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. And so, what did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? What did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments? Those who dress luxuriously and live sumptuously are found in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, and I tell you more than a prophet. This is the one about whom Scripture says, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, 
No one is greater than John. And so as we light the third candle of Advent, the candle of joy, we call to mind that God was to answer the longings of hope of his people and sending forth the Prince of Peace. In the scheme of things, God had set forth his plan for man's salvation, and it is on this salvation that we as Christians can be joyous. May we prepare him room within ourselves and rejoice that God sent his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, into the world to bring all who would believe in him a oneness with him in joy and with our Heavenly Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen.
we offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation. In your mercy, look upon your faithful people and accept this oblation of praise and adoration and adoration for our souls and for that of the whole world's salvation. Lord, receive us and bow before you in contrition and humility and grant us the sacrifice of peace we may bless us. Praise you, Lord God. Come, O sanctify our Almighty eternal God and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your blessed holy name. Come, O wash my hands in innocence and become a show of the Lord that I may declare your marvelous works in some of the place where your glory dwells for I desire to walk in innocence and to be in that person by me. My foot hath always stood in the path of the church of the Lord and praise you, O Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning as now and ever shall be world without end. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they whose memories honor here on earth intercede for us in heaven through the same Christ our Lord. We pray this day. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, prepare our hearts to receive your Son, the gift of life and peace, who will become present in this sacred offering. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your whole hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. For through the promise, sending of Jesus Christ to earth for us, you revealed your goodness and unending love. Sharing in the hope of the patriarchs and prophets, may we worthily prepare a dwelling place of the coming of the Messiah in our hearts. Therefore, we join this day with the voices of the angels and archangels, and with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating on see he singingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Christ. Blessed is he, Moses, and the Lord, Hosanna in the Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. My brothers and sisters, let us offer prayer for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry and the homeless, and the unemployed. May we pray this day for all those who are suffering from sickness, from the coronavirus, from the flu, and especially for the young who are suffering from the RSD syndrome. 
May we give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers. May we pray this day for all abused and neglected children, as well as all abused and neglected animals. May we also pray this day for peace in our world and remember in our prayer the people of Ukraine and other areas in our world where people strive to, to be free and to live with comfort and security. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces and pray for their health and safety. And may we also pray this day for all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, Lord, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the Mary of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless to accept and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his heavenly Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, and again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with 
favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name, their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives added after their divine master, merit the eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Throughout all ages of ages, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, Amen. you take Amen. away Amen. the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take Amen. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take Amen. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, 
My peace I leave you, my peace I give unto you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and by strength to grant it peace and unity, according to your holy will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not to be caused for my judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy, our saving master awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> we will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but once I say the word, I shall be healed.
The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects the stranger, sustains the orphan and the widow, but thwarts the way of the wicked. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh Lord our God, we thank you for the coming of your Son in this Holy Eucharist. Open our eyes to the needs of the sick and the poor, for unless we see him in our brothers and sisters, we will never recognize his final coming. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. of our worship be pleasing to you most holy trinity grant that the sacrifice which we the one worthy have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and for all those for whom we have offered it through christ our lord amen, amen. may the almighty and merciful god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 